Happy Friday, everyone. It's been again a cloudy, a chilly and drizzly and foggy day across many parts of the valley. That's going to continue for tonight. I know it's Friday night. If you're going out for this evening, please do dress warmly and keep the umbrellas handy. We have a chance of seeing some more patchy drizzle as well as some fogs to so be careful when driving tonight. We have been seeing some showers offshore thanks to a trough of low pressure and a front stalled out over the Gulf of Mexico, and you can't see it on the radar, but there is drizzle out there. We've seen those patches of drizzle throughout the day, and that fog is lowering visibility is down to two miles in Edinburgh, four miles in McAllen and West Laco, 60 in uh, Harlingen, six miles in St. Harlingen, Raymondville, and six miles in Port Isabel. Temperatures right now mostly in the 50s, 50 degrees in West Laco and Harlingen, 50 in McAllen and Brownsville and 52 degrees in Edinburgh and those temperatures won't fall much more overnight. We're right around 50 at 7 p.m. 49 at 9 p.m. 49 at 11 o'clock tonight with more patchy drizzle and of course bring the pets in for tonight and if you use a space heater please be careful when using those space heaters. Let's talk about the forecast for New Year's Eve Sunday. Now a cold front, a strong cold front is expected to come in by late Sunday afternoon. So behind it, the winds will crank up. It's going to be much chillier and yes, there is a decent chance for some showers. So if you're heading out Sunday night, bundle up, take the umbrellas. The temperature will be right around 56 at 8 a.m. and we think around 50 at midnight as the ball drops and then overnight into Monday morning, New Year's Day. We expect those low temperatures to drop into the lower 40s. We could be looking at some ice pellets in the northern ranch lands by early Monday morning and get this the high temperature New Year's Day will only be in the mid 40s so much much colder to begin 2018. Here's a surface map high pressure is over Louisiana heading into parts of Texas, but we have a front stalled out over the Gulf of Mexico warm front in West Texas, and it is going to be finally warmer for tomorrow and for Sunday with highs back in the 70s before the front arrives late Sunday afternoon. Here's future track cloudy skies continue for tonight. We still have the chance for some patchy drizzle overnight into very early tomorrow morning. Some patchy fog possible for Saturday morning, but look at this. Some clearing for tomorrow afternoon and after many days of chilly weather, we should be back to around 70 for tomorrow for the high. Mostly cloudy skies continue for tomorrow night. It's mostly cloudy for Sunday. Warm during the day on Sunday, not warm come Sunday evening. On the water, patchy drizzle is still a good possibility for the offshore waters as well as the bay waters. We'll have winds out of the north shifting to the west at 5 to 10 knots. Bay waters are a light chop. Your next tide is a low tide tomorrow morning at 6.08 and the seas are 3 to 5 feet. So again for tonight, it is more of the same. Cloudy and chilly with patchy drizzle and fog. Low temperatures right around 48 degrees. Then for tomorrow, partly sunny skies by the afternoon. And finally milder with a high temperature of 70. Here's that 7-day forecast. This is a big swing in temperature. Temperatures, folks, we're in the 70s for the final weekend of 2017. We are not in the 70s to start off 2018 as we're down to 42 degrees by early New Year's Day morning. Highs are only in the mid 40s during the day on Monday. It is cold, windy with a good chance of rain. We're down to 33 by Tuesday morning with a high of only 41 and then back to 31 degrees potentially by Wednesday morning with a high temperature of 49. So we are in for a couple of days of very chilly weather. At least the sun should come back for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and it's a slow warming trend for the afternoon highs back to 57 for Thursday and then 61 degrees for Friday. But the morning lows are still very chilly, especially for Wednesday morning and Thursday morning. That is your first Warren 5 forecast. Now here's Oscar.